so there's a new trailer that dropped, and I'm not sure it's one people were expecting me to react to, but I'm going to anyway. So, The Haunted Mansion. I like The Haunted Mansion ride at Disney Resorts. I have the record, the album from like, I don't know, the 60s? Um, you know, that comes with an illustrated thing, and it's got a, it's got this just whole dramatic recreation of the ride and this haunting descriptions of all the, and I love it. I grew up on it. I absolutely adore it. The Eddie Murphy movie based on the ride was painful. And um, honestly, while I got some enjoyment out of it, just happening to be at the right cross section, the right spot in the Venn diagram of overlap between Muppets fan and Haunted Mansion fan, the Muppets Haunted Mansion thing from a year or two ago wasn't great either. Disney's gonna keep trying, apparently, and now we have a trailer for a new upcoming Haunted Mansion movie. I don't have a lot of faith in this, but we're gonna check it out anyways. If I can get it going. There we go. Welcome home. I know this place isn't as warm as I'd hoped. <laughs> But I'm going to light a vanilla candle, and it's going to be a game changer. Will it though? We're out. Yeah, I don't. I don't this think mansion is on hand. Candle's gonna do it. She needs all the help she can get. You want to be a hero? Pass. Two thousand dollars. What's the address? Interesting cast. has a way of playing tricks on you. <laughs> oh, that's an interesting attack. Hmm, see, there it is. Oh my god. Is anybody else seeing this? Yeah, I'm seeing it. Be careful. Death lurks around every corner. Yeah, I do. Other more powerful entities may come through. Not on our watch. Well, what are you gonna do? Seriously. Yeah. They're already dead. Yeah. They're gonna be deader. Okay. Yeah, that's helpful. Okay. So, oh boy. You may have noticed my reaction kind of went up and down as it went through. Because initially there was a heavy emphasis on atmosphere. And the thing is... The ride itself is basically 100% atmosphere. There isn't a narrative to the Haunted Mansion as it traditionally exists, but it is fully atmospheric. And early on in the trailer, there was a decent emphasis on that, like with the guy walking down the hallway and just keeping the shot the same. Like, that's, that's a good way to build atmosphere, build tension. And the moment at which I went, uh, oh, there it is, was when I, like, I saw a face embedded in a lantern. It was a quick shot, but I was like, oh, there we go. And what I suspect, and I don't normally make this kind of leap as to what I think the final product's going to be based off the trailer when it isn't clearly laid out by the trailer, but I, I'm going to do it anyway in this case. I suspect that we are going to get something that is going to introduce the uh, lead characters in a fairly lighthearted way, build the tension, build the atmosphere, build the sense of dread. And then once we actually get our first clear look at the ghosts looking the way that they do in the ride, it's like the tension is going to be gone. And it's going to be something more akin to a wacky time. And it's going to have more emphasis on Things like the comedy beat at the very end. Look, I know it's become a thing these days for trailers, especially anything uh, owned by Disney, to end on a joke almost regardless of what the thing is. Like, please stop doing that. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I mean, you can hear me on other trailer reactions, you know, especially with a Marvel thing, where, like, we get the title, I'm like, okay, 
where's the closing joke? And then there's the closing joke. And sometimes it works, but they put it in everything now. And especially something like this where I am more interested in seeing this concept being taken more seriously and less jokily. Now, I don't think the the um, property should be handled 100% serious, like a legit horror movie, because, <sighs> look, The Haunted Mansion is on the slightly darker side of things like the monsters the adams family it is uh it is sort of it's atmospheric spooky but wholesome is kind of the thing so and like i said it's a bit on the darker side of that cuz it acknowledges you know actual death and if you um pay attention to the ride some not particularly pleasant means of death on top of that but it still has a foot in the more like no one's going to get hurt here sensibilities. And that's just inherently what the thing is. But I think you can still lean into the overall atmosphere. You don't need to turn it into a gru. You don't need to turn it into the conjuring. You don't need to turn it into a gruesome horror movie, but, but it is a delicate balance, this thing and how it works. And I just, I strongly suspect that it's going to lose it. Like I love Danny DeVito but I also saw him, and I'm like, oh, no. Arr. And and Owen Wilson, who I also like, like, I'm like, iffy, and then there's Danny DeVito. I'm like, oh, this is falling apart fast. Whereas some of the other characters, I'm like, okay, yeah, this could work. And it's like, it's all, it's all over the place. And I don't have a lot of faith that it's going to be good. I probably won't be seeing it in the theater, I'll tell you that much. I'll watch it out of morbid curiosity when it hits streaming, I suspect. But... Yeah, there's some promise here. But given the other stuff that it is paired with, I'm already assuming it's promise that is going to be squandered, not promise that uh, it gets expanded upon or is in any way the primary thrust of the thing. But that's my read on this. What did you think? Whatever your thoughts are, drop something down in the comments. Let's talk about it. Patreon pays the bills and is what enables me to do this as my living. Even if you can't do that, like, share, subscribe. They all help me out. Don't worry too much about it, though. We take a relaxed attitude around here so you can come on back next time you need a break. And now my thanks to my highest supporters on Patreon. Robin Moore, Zubin Lafula, Tarak, the thing that goes doink in the anime, Oliver B., Melinda Walters, Emu Delki, Leo the Boyd, Becky Sparks, Fernabilax, the Poodle, Tracy Scrabbit, Angry Casperl, Tim Price, Adam R.D.L. Taylor, Shayla Gourlay, and Rosalind Bennett. Thanks for your support. And if you want to get your name in the credits, check out the rewards on the Patreon. <laughs>